Hello guys and welcome to another car explosive video. We have this Skoda Superb back with a airbag light on. Let me show you. So you do all the checks. So the airbags go out and then comes back. So air airbag. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna scan the car. So there we go. I've got it all set. Skoda Superb 2 2011 restrains. So we can hit it. There we go. This plugs in, ignition is on. Let's see what we've got. There you go. Double zero five eight eight airbag squeak squib circuit driver above upper regulation limit threshold permanent right so when dealing with the clock spring i was really hoping that i could see like an open circuit but i'm gonna take this above upper regulation limit threshold as a maybe a higher resistance in the circuit and my next step will be i'm gonna disconnect the battery take everything apart get to the squib and then test the squib I'm not gonna take you through this. If you're interested to know how to get to the squib, I do have a video which I'm gonna put a link up here that you can see how you can take everything out. But that's it, I'm gonna disconnect the battery and get to the squib. All right guys, so I got to this point. I haven't removed the steering wheel yet, but I'm just visually inspect everything, all the connections here, and it seems fine. I don't see any broken cable or anything like that. So, so far, so good, so we carry on. Right guys, so we've got all apart here and and this is the airbag connector there. I've got probe going one of the connectors and make sure you got everything plugged in. So this is the other the other connection that goes straight to the module. So I'm gonna plug it in. Back row the yellow wire and as you can see there we've got 43 ohms. So it's way too high. I'm gonna ask Luke to move the squib or the clock spring so you can see that changing. Yeah, there you go. So it goes to open circuits. See, so we do have a problem with the squib or clock spring. Inside, I'm gonna test the other one now. All right, so I'm on the other pin now. And they're gonna back probe the white wire this time. So this is gonna be well shaky. Apologies about that. So I'm back probing the white wire now. As you can see, 0 0.9, 0 0.8. It's a little bit too high, but that's okay. Comparing to the other wire. So this yellow wire here, we definitely have a problem with the ribbon cable inside it. So now I'm gonna get my DK box and, and I'm gonna supply some resistance to the circuit. Generally around between 3.5 and 5 ohms of resistance and to see if we can get the light, the airbag light out. And then we have 100% sure, uh, we are 100% sure that we have a problem with, with the clock spring. All right guys, we are ready here. Sorry about the rush, I'm rushing because it's, it's raining. But anyway, I've got my DK box here. I've set to four ohms at the minute. And let's see if that works. So obviously I've got the, the connector going to the airbag module. So those two pins there. Put the ignition on, see what happens. All right, so the light's still there. Let me get the diagnostic tool. See, whoops. See what it says. All right, okay, so we've got our code here, 00588, but this time, as you can see that intermittent, and we still have our airbag light so now we're going to clear the code
They raise it. Let's see if uh, this is going to go out or not. It's low, isn't it? Very slow. Still going. These weights. There you go. Airbag light is out. No full codes. Start that again. So there you go. No full codes. So I set the decade box to four ohms, and it seems to work as a tree. Let me. Cycle the ignition again. There we go, so airbag light is out. Checking the clock spring ribbon cable. Uh, I couldn't see any open. The clock spring all apart. And I went through the ribbon cable and I cannot see any break whatsoever. All the way along no break i know it's here somewhere you did even mark it but i can't see anything so i think i'm just gonna try yeah put a mark there but there's no break but there there is a you know a high resistance on that uh wire um so that's probably the code that we are having you know the threshold is is above that what the issue is expecting um and that's it for today and another thing, when you're checking the system, make sure you have everything plugged in. As I found out, I had to ring my friend Louis. Thanks very much, Louis, for the for the advice. Um, it does have a protection uh, against the static um, energy or discharge, I guess. It's just a safety feature in this system. And that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video helps. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.